Alexander Ljungkrantz has signed a two-year deal to stay at the SHL level with Brunus. What do we know about him and what does that mean? Today, Brunus, or Brunus, if you, you know, use the Swedish pronunciation, signed Alexander Ljungkrantz to a two-year contract to stay at the SHL level. So that means he will be there until the end of the 22-23 season. Which is fine. If you go back to my video about unsigned draft picks, you'll know that the Islanders hold his rights up until 2024. So no worry, no stress. But what this means for him specifically is this is a big step up. He will be playing at the SHL level next year. So that's the pros at this, the top Swedish level instead of the U20 level like he did last year or the Hockey A10, which is Div 1 level of the Swedish pyramid. So this is a big step up for him. And look, he, in those two levels that I just mentioned before, the Hockey A10 League and the U20 level, he did very well. Like, let me just bring up the stats here. In uh, 16 games at the U20 level for Brunus, he put up 15 points in 16 games with 8 goals. At the Stromsbro level, or Hockey A10, which is Div 1, so you got SHL, you got the Allsenskans, and then the Hockey A10 level, he put up 12 points in 14 games, again, 8 goals. So what does this mean for the Islanders? Well, it means we won't see him for two years, which again, isn't that big of a deal and is probably exactly what everyone already expected anyways. This kid is only gonna turn 20 in February, so he's still quite young. And again, he's a third round draft pick. When you take those guys, you don't expect them to be, you know, jumping to the pros that quickly. First round picks, sure. Second round picks, maybe if it's an early second round, but mid third round or even late third round picks like like Lundkrantz, it's it's just not not it's not what should be expected. Now he has played well at the lower tiers. Now he'll get to prove himself at the top tier level. So this should be a big year for him. Not only because he will be playing SHL hockey, but he'll likely be playing against the cream of the crop for his peers. He's probably going to be representing Team Sweden at the World Junior Championships in I think it's Red Deer in Edmonton next year. That's, that's a big marquee tournament where he can make his, his name or make a case that he should be going pro sooner rather than later. Again, I do expect him to stay those two years in Sweden. I don't expect that he's going to jump the gun unless like he has a like mind-blowing Sweden uh, sorry season in Sweden, which I don't necessarily expect. Uh, but good step for an Islanders prospect. So let me kind of tell you more about Alexander Ljungkrantz. If you don't know who he is outside of the obvious, Islanders draft pick, signed with Brunus, playing in Sweden. If, you, if that's all you know, let me fill the gap a little bit more. So what kind of player is Alexander Ljungkrantz? Well, we know he's a forward. Uh, the kid can shoot. He's got a really good wrist shot. He is fast. He's a speedy skater. Whenever I talk to anyone, scouts, coaches, GMs about him, and those are GMs in Sweden, that is, um, as well as scouts and coaches, all they keep saying is that the kid can skate. The kid can skate really well and really fast. He can see the game and he can think the game at a high level. Now, he doesn't have that high-end skill, uh, which, which is why he went in the third round and probably could have gone a little bit later, but he works so hard. He doesn't stop. He does not stop working. He's got a top-tier work ethic, which is exactly what the Islanders love from their players. So combine that hard work ethic, the never-quit attitude, along with some speed, and some skill. It's not that he's not skilled at all. He's got some skill, but that's not his calling card. It's just add that little bit of element to his game. Like the kid can shoot. Again, I, like I said it before, he's got a good wrist shot. It's not Patrick Liney level of shot. It's not a top tier shot, but it is good and it could serve him well going forward. So he's a really interesting prospect for the Islanders that could turn into something. But as it stands now, he will stay in Sweden for two more years, and then we'll see what happens. If he plays well in those two years for Brunus, I would expect him to go pro the second that that contract is over with. We'll see. Two more years of him playing in Sweden, so keep your eyes out for Alexander Dunkranz playing with Brunus at the SHL level next year and the year after. If you subscribed already, obviously big thanks. If you haven't yet, why not? Please do it. There's a lot of video, a lot of content coming. Thank you, thank you, and thank you.